Hi guys, welcome to a nice weekend in my life vlog. We have so much going on. It's Lauren's birthday weekend. We have the Santa Bar crawl. I'm sure I'll be hungover on Sunday. I went and got an IV this morning after my workout in preparation. Macy's actually about to stop by because I'm giving her a surprise, which is just a uh, PR from the O kind, but I haven't told her what the surprise is. I had to make it sound cooler. I'm wrapping Lauren's gift and I'll show you what I got her. Her favorite artist ever is Ashley Longshore. So I got her this Ashley Longshore coffee table book. I bought this like, in August, forever ago. And then there's this little Abe Lincoln tray that I thought was really cute. And she's going to love it. I'm giving that to her tomorrow, but I did want to wrap it. Marissa and Presley, everyone's coming over. It's a big, big weekend here. For tonight, we have a room at Paradiso. We have like the private room at Paradiso for dinner. It's like a set dinner. It's like a whole thing. It's gonna be fun. And then we're going to Casablanca and we're getting a karaoke room, which is like literally our favorite thing to do ever. We went one time, me and all my friends, and we still talk about it. So we're going back today. And we're very excited. So I got some things for tonight and then also I feel like the stickers make more sense for the bar crawl but I'll bring like some. This is from Sarah, what is it, Sarah's signature. I actually think she's Dallas based. I got some other stuff for Haley's birthday there too. Um, I got these stickers, this picture of Lauren. It's just like a very famous child photo. And then this is the showstopper because I'm so funny. This is for tonight. I wasn't even thinking about the bar crawl tomorrow. I hope that they make it out. I've got to tape these. Like that's actually really funny. And I got these on buildahead.com. So I guess I just need to like tape them. Obsessed. So I need to wrap these gifts before anything gets crazy. This is the best I've ever wrapped anything. I will say I bought this book signed and it didn't come signed, which is like fine, but I bought it in literally August and I just now opened it and noticed it. But either way, such a cute gift, really cute wrapping paper. It's from Anthropology. I am so excited for this weekend and she's gonna love her gift. So I divided the stickers up. So we have some also for the bar crawl and then we can just like hand them out and be funny. And then I have some that I'm taking tonight to our dinner and stuff. And then I also brought disposable cameras. Can you tell I love birthdays, I love Party, I don't love party planning, but I like hosting and like doing party planning for like friends. You know what I mean? Okay, are you ready for okay, your right. surprise? Yeah. Okay, Stand okay. here, close your eyes. Okay. Your eyes closed? Yeah. <laughs> like this little peak. Yeah. I know. I should have really done something about that. What is this? Stay closed. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. Keep, don't, no. Keep them closed still. Keep your eyes closed. Keep them close. Keep them close. Keep them close. <laughs> Make sure you keep your eyes closed. <laughs> okay, put your hand out. Okay, now you can open. <laughs> I don't know why I think it's so funny. <laughs> oh, wait, you were just giving you PR. <laughs> I wanted this. I know, but it's wrinkly right now, but that's just because it's been in a box, so it'll unwrinkle. <laughs> you're going like, to the and, then, and then you're like, we're going to Aspen. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to Disney. <laughs> I'll take this to Mammoth and I'll really slay. Oh my god, like, good. Uh, Wait, so this, would love to see me. Is this Kenzie? I even put on my like no, like lip tingly lip gloss. You're like literally me. Hold on, let's go in public and see if anyone recognizes okay. me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. Oh, did I just mute myself? Um, in real life. Oh. Wait, I kind of like a white hot chocolate moment. Wow. The second time at Starbucks. Wait. That's like the only content I have today. What? Tasting different Starbucks drinks. Hi, how are you? Good. Well, how are you? Good. Uh, can we get one peppermint hot chocolate? The white peppermint hot chocolate. Oh, that's why I should get it. That's why. Sorry, what? I said just one, not anything. Oh, no, and then another grande white peppermint hot chocolate. So we want two. It's gonna be 10 to me, okay? Okay, thank you. It's like, thank you. what's funny is, when I get hot chocolate, I don't think for a second about like what milk goes in it. I thought about that and I was like, I don't care. No, like it's it's not mm. actually real. No, it's obviously fake. Here. 
Oh, just hanging out. This is our this is our adventure plan. for the day. Yeah. Well, she has yeah. plans. Well, I have a birthday party, but I don't. No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> I wish. Should, would we have gotten our drinks for free? Yeah, if I said that, would we have gotten refunded? If, if I said it was my birthday, would we have gotten refunded? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> what? What is happening? <laughs> he gets us. The fact that my camera died for all of that. No. Oh, I'll just direct them to your vlog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go to her channel for part two. <laughs> I have this memory of you like at Honor Bar po tagging, right? Like I feel like you posted something and that's how I originally saw your stuff. Not in high school. Let's no, go. in college or something? Like, oh, no. Um, Well, you liked my TikTok at Honor Bar. Oh, that was what it was. Yeah. That's how I first found out about you. Yeah. That's what it was. Well, actually, you. Wait, did you chat? Didn't you chat me in something too? Um, Yes, hold on. Guys, I DM'd her in 2018. Oh, wait, should you tell them what you yeah, said? Yeah, and I deleted it because I was really embarrassed. That's like when I first got into like YouTube, like watching it, and I was just like oh. chronically online. I watched like Danielle, like all of them, and I watched Kenzie, and I DM'd her because she was back in college in California, and I lived in California, in LA. And I. This was my Christian era. Right, Macy and friend of Macy. <laughs> That's right. A friend of Macy. White hot chocolate? Perfect. Uh, Thank you. Amazing. Have a great day. Thank you. Aww. Did you hear that? Kenzie is just friend of yeah, Macy. Yeah, friend of Macy. Should I change my Instagram? Or my TikTok bio? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I you think needed that. Over. Okay. Spot. Yeah, I'll just. She, AKA, she just wants better lighting. <laughs> I was going to try on Sorry I exposed you. But yeah, taste okay. test. Guys, just wait for my story. It's really good. Yeah, it's actually really fun. I swear I have a screenshot of it somewhere. I should have just kept it. You know what's really weird? I re I actually do read a lot of my DMs when I go through phases where like people are being mean and I don't, but like I just it just depends on you know the era that I'm in. Yeah. And I really never saw that. I maybe I don't know. I just don't think I ever saw that. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> I can't believe you deleted it only to just tell me immediately. <laughs> Like, why did you do that? I don't know. Because I didn't want you to see it before I addressed oh, it. Oh, yeah. Okay, wait. I have to like, read all of my DMs to you. But they're not- You have them screenshotted. These ones aren't bad. No, this is like my, my actual DMs that I haven't deleted. That's actually a really good um, TikTok. Yeah, I know. Oh, man, this is so good. It's really Have amazing. you noticed that since we started hanging out, my TikToks are like way better? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. It's crazy because the, the really good ones, let's be honest, Macy's ghostwriting. But <laughs> no. the other ones, I think just overall, I've gotten better at it. I'm just really proud of you. But honestly, it's just like being around someone who also thinks in TikTok makes me post way more because it's like everything we say that's mm -hmm. funny, we're like, oh, yeah, no, yeah. literally. I think we should have cameras on us at 24 7. I agree. Actually. I absolutely agree. Okay, now we can get into the story time. So 2018, she was going, maybe we'll just start here. We're going to tell the story of how we met. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, but in 2018, I DM'd her because she posted a YouTube video like opening up about something. I don't know what it was. Probably. I don't remember. Either. Either. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, like, it was something like, dumb. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I DM her and I was like, oh my god, girl, like uh, I'm in I'm in LA too. If you ever want to like, get coffee and just talk like like YouTube, like I had like two subscribers. Nobody. Yeah. I, and well, I, I was no. like, I was like, I'm here for you, as if she had like no friends. <laughs> Like, I, I DM'd her that, and that was 2018, and I was so embarrassed. <laughs> Once she, like, followed me back on TikTok, I was like, ooh, that's gotta go, because I just DM'd everyone. Oh, that's how early on you deleted that DM? No, maybe it was... I, I deleted it at some point, like, recently. Well, I also year. didn't realize that you had, like, interned at E5 before you got had a job yeah. at E5, until I started talking to everyone. Yeah, okay. No, like, I was at... I worked, so when Lindsay Pierce... My manager... manager um, was running the marathon last year. She didn't want to get sick, so she sat at our table of, like, four, and she'd always be, like, talking on the phone with you. I was like, I know her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. But April 21st, she, you did a QA and a and someone asked you, um, how do you deal with bad friends? And you replied with just a photo of a marg, and you forgot to put the text. Yeah, I didn't mean to. So it I was, literally swiped no, out, I was like, I, oh my god, I'm dead. I was like... <laughs> but, no, it wasn't that. It was like, how do you deal with hate or something? And no, I, it was, uh, having bad roommates. It was like something crazy, but I typed out this whole, this has happened to me another time too. I'll type out a whole message and then I'll post it to my story. One time I was like, how do you deal with the haters? And it was a photo of me where my boobs are out and I cover my boobs with the text on all of them. I remember that. So you can't tell. And it's the same thing happened on that one. I was <laughs> mortified. It was up for like an hour. Before I remember, I remember. And everyone thought I was just being funny. And like, I wasn't. Like I, that was genuinely, I had typed out so much. You couldn't even see the background of that photo. Oh yeah, my God. So I swiped up on that story. I was like, oh my God. Then 
Um, you posted a story of your Starbucks order and it said CO for coconut milk. And I said, why did they CO is short for cow milk? <laughs> How do you funny. remember exactly what that was? Because I, I remember. I'm also like so bad with Instagram DMs. I don't need a pod of my phone. And then this was the one about Dom um, not liking cruises. And I said, I have a theory that the only people who don't like cruises are the ones that have never been on one. You would like cruises. I love cruises. Yeah. It's because you love like being around that many people. Yeah. And like you would just like literally hop from table to table. Yeah, no, I would. <laughs> yeah, like it would be book club all over again. So, so yeah. yeah, I DM'd her because I just think influencers are my friends. And yeah. Well, look at us now. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I'm a mastermind. <laughs> Mastermind TikTok. There you mm -hmm. go. Yeah, but I found Macy's Wait, TikTok. You actually liked a TikTok of mine a year ago. I remember because like, you have like all caps in your name, so it, like stood yeah, out you when you liked it. it. It was the one of me. I was like, just failed a test that I took at 7 a.m. No, I I like had known who you were for a bit because your TikToks are so funny. So famous. Yeah, and she's also famous. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. So these are really uh, good. We're gonna do a taste test over as, on Macy's as, as if we haven't. Oh yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay guys, I have never been in such a rush to get ready. I still need to brush my hair again. This is the outfit I've changed 15 times. Skims, Zara, Nasty Gal, Fendi that I got on the Real Real. This is the look. I mean, it's like nothing like special, but like I'm fully giving up because nothing else is happening. So Marissa just got here. Presley's on her way to grab us. Where's my brush? Um, and I need to gather like Lauren's stuff. Then we're getting there, and Paradiso gave us a private room, which I'm very grateful for, and Casablanca gave us the room as well. I'm really excited, because it's like literally my favorite places, and Paradiso has my favorite like specialty mark in Dallas. It's gonna be a really good night with the girls. Are you guys ready for the surprise? Yeah. And I'm glad we got here before her. Oh my god. <laughs> Look, all these stickers, Ew. and there's different kinds. There's these, there's these. Now I have to get to work. <laughs> the birthday girl. Do you like your surprises? I told you you weren't going to guess them. No, I was not. One star. Dare me to take a spoonful bonus? I'll do it. Okay, sure. Wow. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy
Good morning, guys. It is finally the Naughty or Nice bar crawl day. Basically, it is the Christmas bar crawl in Dallas. I've like never been able to go. Normally this weekend, we are out of town, but we're going out of town next weekend. So this year I can go. It's actually gonna rain all day, which is so annoying because like it's a bar crawl. So we're gonna be outside. I have two outfit options and I don't know what I'm gonna pick. I've got to leave in about like 30 minutes, so I need to get ready. It won't take me long, but Lauren is hosting a pregame and she's getting like Chick-fil-A. She has stuff for mimosas. Like it's going to be fun. Guys, my Nespresso, I cannot figure out. Like it just stops working one day. And part of me is like, am I just being stupid or do I just need to order a new coffee machine? And honestly, like I'm really bad about using my Nespresso. Like it still confuses me. It's been five years. And I like like bad coffee. Like I... And it's good, but I feel like every time I make it, it's bad. And I like bad coffee. Like, honestly, do I go back to my Keurig? Justice for Keurigs. I like gas station coffee, so. Last night, though, was so much fun, guys. If y'all are, like, doing anything and you need, it was, like, so much fun. So I cannot recommend it enough. Costa Blanca. It's Costa Nova karaoke, but it's at Costa Blanca. And then the Par Paradiso is just so good. The best mark ever. The if that, if purple and lilac. Margarita, I always say it wrong, but it's so good. I got athletic greens Not sponsored bought this myself I want to start having this every morning it like really doesn't taste that like bad But I do want to start having this on an empty stomach and not coffee because I know that's really bad I think for your hormones. It's just bad for you in general I'm gonna go get ready I think this is actually what I'm gonna wear because I don't really the jeans and the t-shirt like just so easy you know guys Dom is experiencing believe it or not her first hangover ever and like I I have to turn the volume down really quick because I just like I don't really have empathy for it like you were like you got away with it for so long without it you need to be brought back down to earth and reality anyways Ugg socks skirt is mango top is skims I'm gonna like walk outside and see how this feels, but I'm thinking like this is the look. Like, anyways, you have 30 seconds to complain about this hangover, Dom. Guys, I'm not okay, and if you, this might be the last time you see me. I still have my makeup on. From, that's a wing. Believe that's winged liner. Believe it or not, um, I'm gonna throw up. I'm literally going to throw up everywhere, and it's all Kenzie's fault. It's all Kenzie's fault. How? Because she didn't even want to support me in my time of need. Uh, you know no, I mean? that is not my fault. I would take getting you to become a bigger drinker, yeah. That I will take blame for that, but I won't be taking blame for anything that happened to you in the past 24 hours. I'm going to throw up. Okay, well, it's been real. I did my makeup. I've gotten so much better at doing makeup in the past 48 hours. And we're going to go. I keep being like, is this what I want to wear? Is it not what I want to wear? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But like, I never wear skirts, and I feel like this, like, what better time than now? I used the Lux Unfiltered Blurring Body Lotion, and, like, this stuff is amazing, and I really hope it stays on my legs like this, because it is incredible. There's some more than her. Macy's here and she just realized that Lauren's house is perfect for bloggers which honestly you know what that is true the reason I haven't noticed that is because she always has these blinds closed yeah it is great lighting in here I, why am I not making more TikToks here it's crazy it's giving Aspen Ovard <laughs> twerk oh I'm not hungover but I have no energy and I've been ready to go to this bar crawl for like over an hour. So we're heading there. Macy's joined. I should have worn sneakers. Yeah, you're braver Macy, than me. Wait, we're any point. <laughs> Look the other way. Oh, the line. Is that really the line? Holy shit. This line sucks. Wait, guys, I just noticed Macy isn't even wearing the Okan, so. 
Weird. I'm not used to this whole camera thing. Oh. Okay guys, I'm trying Macy's Subway order. I'm not gonna lie, I went a little cray cray on it. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. It's a lot, now that I'm seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about these onions. I like onions, but. No, there's like peppers. a lot, now that I'm seeing it, I'm like, this is like overkill, I should've just gotten orange. <laughs> mm. So far, today has been great. We went to the rooftop bar. So it's a rooftop bar, obviously. It's a rooftop. Starts pouring rain. Macy and I go all the way around the entire thing, not realizing every single friend of ours there that I knew was under about four umbrellas. So we are soaking wet, like my hair still soaking wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got <laughs> Macy's hair soaking wet. Um, until we get there, I realize that no one else got wet. It was uh, just us. They're all like, oh. Yeah, they're like, oh my God, that sucks. So anyways, taste test. This is so large. I'm talking about this. You know whose um, order I still order at Subway to this day? Magic Trap. No, close. Callie Coke's order, mm -hmm. who you guys, you met earlier, obviously you know. Mm -hmm. um, when she was in the fifth grade, she ordered me a Subway sandwich and I still order it to this day. No, this is really chaotic. I never get it. I was just like seeing everything in, in text. I was like, yeah, add it. I usually just get turkey provolone and like, I don't even know, that's it. I wish I got a foot long. No. Our song is a slam string to Door taken out of the one on your window. When you're on the phone and you talk real slow. Low. Cause it's late and your mama don't know. That's this a good one. of the most veggies I've eaten in a while. <laughs> I love Subway. Me too. Anyone that shits on Subway, it's a red flag. Anyone that shits on any fast food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Especially Chick fil A. Mm. It is obviously Sunday now. The next day, I'm about to get some editing done. I shockingly didn't wake up hungover this morning. I did get home at like 8 or 9 last night. Obviously, it poured, and I mean poured, um, during the bar crawl, which sucked, but it was still really fun. I have taken like three naps and I am like exhausted and I need to get some stuff done. My actual like normal Sunday routine is that I lay in bed pretty much all day besides taking the dogs out and getting my DoorDash until like four, it is 3.52. Then I get a wave of energy and then I'm like productive and I like prep for the week and get stuff done and you know, whatever. Um, and like my hangover routine, I will share with you guys because this has like changed the game for me. I like the undo the booze pills. I start, I used like the miracle ones this week. I'm not sure what they did. I didn't wake up hungover, but I don't think I really like would have, I don't know, either way. The main thing though is the IV. Getting the IV before you start drinking on Friday, it saves your life. Like it really is just crazy. It is just, and I know IVs um, get pricey. I get like cheaper pricing on them because I'm a member at Restore and so I get them there. So I'm not like paying like full, full price for the IVs. But honestly, for my own mental health, like they are worth it. Drink a lot of water. I normally, like I had this, Red Wedding Housewife tumbler full of water in an IV. 
Um, not well, liquid IV, not NIV. Um, and then like hangover pills by my bed waiting for me when I got home. And then I really just sleep. Like that's what I do and I hope for the best. I am the biggest wimp these days when it comes to hangovers. Slash they've also just gotten so bad as I've gotten older. So I really cap how many drinks I have. Like I know when I need to stop drinking so I wake up fine. Um, and for the most part I do that, but every now and then I'll have like the worst hangover ever. Like I had a top 10 hangover a couple weeks ago and that was horrible. Um, but that is really my hangover routine and what I do. The main thing though is getting an IV before the weekend starts. It changes the game and then I'm always using hangover pills. Recently I like undo the booze. The purple celebration ones on Amazon are also incredible. I've gotten a lot of people onto those. And you just, you gotta do what you gotta do. Drink a lot of water. I do have Water Boy too. Um, but for some reason I like forget to grab for that and I always get liquid IV even though I know Water Boy is better for hangovers. But that's what I do. Hope you guys enjoyed this weekend and my life vlog. I also watched the Harry and Meghan doc today. And like I'm not someone who's ever really like cared about like the royals or like I don't know, I've just never really like known much about them besides like I love Princess Diana, obviously. Um, and I actually like really liked it. And also as someone who's like watched from afar and like didn't really know anything about them, I've always felt for Harry and Meghan because I feel like that would just be a really horrible life to live. And I don't I don't know, I don't know enough, but I feel like it's hard to watch that and like not like them. I don't know, I really liked the show and I don't really watch shows. So, also guys, did you see that Casey Anthony came out with the new documentary? I'm not watching it, obviously, but it's like, do the people who are doing the documentary, like in her defense and telling her story, do they really think that she didn't kill her daughter? You know? And like genuinely, like, are there people, I, I just like always grew up like, she's guilty, I feel like, obviously. But, like, are there really a lot of people who believe she's innocent? Like, genu I'm, like, genuinely asking. Like, am I just, like, missing something? Like, how did that happen? How did they do that? Oh, my God. There's Emily in Paris season three coming on December 21st. See, the crazy thing about me is that, like, I'll watch that. Like, I won't watch any shows that are, like, really actually good. But I'll watch that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you in the next vlog. My hair is very curly. I straighten my hair like every day. But, like, so in the rain, like I'm not going to look great. It's going to be very ugly. So I'm like, whatever, I'll bring an umbrella. Forgot my umbrella. Mm -hmm. Get there. It's pouring rain. And he sees me and he's like, hey, we walk into this building and then out of the building into the ice sculptures. I'm like, doesn't even acknowledge that it's outside. <laughs> I'm like, I literally tried to tell you, but like, I didn't say anything. I'm like, okay. I'm, like, I'm from Alaska. Like, I've seen plenty of ice sculptures. So I'm like, are you done? Like, looking around? Like, are you good?